everyone, welcome back to another 1-6 scale figure review slash an alien Romulus review. I decided to add a review into this of the movie, Alien Romulus, simply because the figure here by Hot Toys, which is the Aliens Warrior slash Xenomorph Warrior, is a bit of a statuesque figure. You can't really do much with it. It doesn't really come with hardly any accessories. And you can't even pose the mouth and jaw just for fear of those muscle tendons just tearing. So I decided to just have him on the turntable and just quickly give him a film. And obviously review the latest film. Because that film itself is the reason I started getting this guy and... My love for the franchise is kind of revived now because of that movie. Really, really enjoyed the movie. Also, I have some big customs in the works regarding this franchise. I do want to eventually update my Ripley from the second movie and also the original Hot Toys one from the first movie. I feel the sculpts need some work with the paint apps just because, you know, it's pretty outdated compared to now. And I honestly can't be bothered waiting for a 2.0 from Hot Toys or just waiting anymore. That's another reason why I decided to pick this guy up is I initially skipped this guy back in 2017 because I knew they didn't update this jaw. And, you know, a lot of people back then were in the mindset where I'll wait for a 2.0. And I was in that camp where I'll just wait for a 2.0 of this guy and it so far has never came. <laughs> so I decided, you know what, I'll bite the bullet and just have to pay the aftermarket to get this. Because it is a really, really good piece having it in hand, but there are some problems with the jaw. I have Mod Podged it. And that's simply like an Elmer's glue or clag glue. It's basically a watered down version of that. And you just apply it on the jaw. And seal it. And yeah, the rest of the body is a very sh strong and tough vinyl. So for this guy, I haven't heard any nightmares with degradation of the suit. It's just more you can't move it, which I'm fine with that. I'd rather not move it than it rotting like the big chap. Another figure which needs a 2.0 desperately. Just because it's a it's legitimately a faulty figure, like it's rotting in people's collections. So that's something that definitely needs an update. And yeah, if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. I might grab Ripley up there, bring her down here with this guy, and we'll get right to it. So we got Ripley here, which is the 79 version from Hot Toys, next to the Aliens Xenomorph Warrior, and the height and scaling is really, really good. I just love how Pumpkinhead-esque 
this version of the Xenomorph is, you know, created pretty much by the same guy, Stan Winston, the person that done this version of the Xenomorph. It does kind of have that feel to it. And then we have probably one of my top five butt toy figures right here, which is the Ripley from the original Alien movie. And like I said before, I think the head sculpt and likeness is there. I just feel the paint apps. I do want to update them. You know, I want to give this to a custom painter and get it done up. And as well as an Aliens version to actually pair with this one. Speaking of an Alien versions of Ripley, I do have a second head sculpt version of the original 79 which I did cut the hair and done a little bit of weathering and battle damage from the end scene of the second film so it's the same head sculpt it's just that yeah I trimmed the hair and I glued the sides up to make it look like that second film man I just wish Hot Toys dive into this now especially with the success of Romulus right now second highest grossing film in the franchise come on Hot Toys at least do a Scorch Xenomorph So now this will be the review portion to Alien Romulus. And overall, my opinions on the film itself is I really, really walked out with so much enjoyment. And finally, I can say that the franchise is revived, you know, especially after Covenant and how disappointing that movie was. And if I was to do an Aliens rating of most favorite to least it will probably be one two romulus prometheus resurrection alien 3 then covenant i think that's probably the ranking i will give the movies you know I know a lot of people like Alien 3 and to give it second last position of the worst in the franchise is pretty bold, but that movie just completely destroyed what the first two set up in my opinion, especially with Alan Ripley's character arc and the people she saved in the second movie. And yeah, everything about Romulus I really, really liked. You know, the practical effects was a massive standout. You know, they actually rebuilt a big chap for the more crucified massacre scene thing part, which I really would have loved to have seen. Apparently they're doing a comic based on that lab breakout with the big chap. Again, Hot Toys capitalize off this and make a big chap again. Even the battle damage one from the Romulus movie would be interesting to have because it is a return to that original Xenomorph. And yeah, I think the biggest negatives I have with the film is obviously Ash E.M. Holmes likeness was probably not the best when it comes to CGI. But I think the biggest one I have is some of the callback lines, especially the get away from her you bitch line. I think that was really, really unnecessary. But to be fair, knowing Disney and what they did with Star Wars, I wouldn't be surprised if they forced 
Fede Alvarez to chuck that line in this film. Or maybe not, maybe he just wanted the hone back to the original two movies. But, in my opinion, it wasn't a necessary thing. Especially because Alan Ripley earned that line in that first and second movie. And, you know, she kind of does say that line similar in the first movie to Mother. Where she kind of declines the self-destruct sequence. And yeah, some of the add-ons of lore to the Xenomorph creature, you know, I like what they did with the facehuggers where they're basically like a sonar type creature that listen to people's breathing and heat signature, kind of like a predator, which is interesting. You know, I liked what they did with the Black Guru in this a bit more than Prometheus. And... I hope they do some tweaks with the law where it isn't heavily implied that David created this creature. I still personally think the engineers tried to resurrect this ancient creature and use it as a means for either war or labor or something like that. You know, it hones back to Prometheus, the actual mythology. And obviously, going by that story, their creation turned against them. But I really hope David is not the original creator of this species. I would much prefer a Jurassic Park style of story where you shouldn't resurrect extinct creatures, especially apex predators. And this creature is an apex predator, so I would much rather a story like that than... He just created it, just because. I would much rather this be an ancient creature that was extinct and was like an apex predator of the galaxy and the engineers tampering, trying to revive it, was a bad call because it turns against them and now we've got it lurking in space again. I would much rather a story like that. And it does make sense, especially with that derelict ship in the first movie with the space jockey. And yeah, I think that's probably about it. Overall, I'm so glad Hot Toys tackled this license. You know, this did start their company and young child me was always interested in this universe i was reading the comics before i watched any of the movies just because my parents allowed me to read the dark horse comics before the films and the playstation games and the pc games you know i'm a massive fan of this franchise and as much as we can nag hot toys to just remake these i am very happy that we got this And yeah, I'm very, very interested to see how I go in the future with this Ripley when it comes to updates, because I do think it is needed. Well, I'll take that back. I don't think it's needed, but this is my favorite franchise, and I feel I want to go all out with it, you know, and get the best representation possible. Similar to The Dark Knight, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, my in art head sculpts currently have been sent out and I'm getting them redone only for these two franchises Dark Knight and Alien anything else I'm not that hardcore to just spend that much money for customs but for this in particular yeah why not <laughs> and that's pretty much it for today if you guys did enjoy this make sure you like and sub and I'll see you in the next one